Elizabeth and I'm a certified personal trainer and nutritionist and today I have a super advanced stretching and flexibility routine with a stability ball. So these movements are pretty difficult and they are in my perspective what I gear towards like contortioning but not quite good enough to be a contortionist just like if you were training to be one so with that being said if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and if you'd like to help contribute you can go to my channel page in the about there's a link for donations I also have a spirit lifter to share with you it says love all trust a few do wrong to none and I like this for multiple reasons one of them being the three principles of the divine self which are going to be wisdom, will, and love. So love all is love. Trust of you is wisdom. And do wrong to none is will or goodwill. And these things help you connect more to your divine self. And so with loving all, that can be challenging because sometimes we judge people and at their actions, but it is not our place to believe that these people are evil or negative. Um, because sometimes people don't intentionally do wrong. Sometimes they do. But regardless of that, you need to focus on yourself. And there are things within you, your inner adversary, that also need work. So instead of looking at how others can improve, you should always reflect and be honest with yourself and see what you can improve. Another thing is trust of you. And there are many reasons not to trust people or anything for that matter. And that's because everything revolves around our perception and other people's perception. And sometimes those don't line up with one another. And I tell my son this and he always goes, well, then why should I trust you, Mama? And I tell him not to because it's important to me to be independent in your thoughts, for you to decide for yourself. This is what creates the free man. And I think that when we receive true freedom, that we're no longer com contaminated by the world and I think this is a big step in the spiritual path. And then finally, do wrong to none is goodwill. So to have goodwill for all people. And this was one of those things that I had to confront my inner adversary to establish. And it's a continual effort. You don't just get there and it's done forever. But in my prayers um, in life, I have thought as a child that they were like requests to be made to God, to like ask for the things that you hope for. And then as I got older, um, I started praying, still requests, but being for like changes like dress, justice and the end of corruption and peace and things like that. And then um, I started praying for individuals. And groups of individuals too because obviously I don't know everybody but instead of praying that I received justice I started to pray that they would be good people and with that um, it's really changed my feelings as in uh, no more resentment towards those people and no longer feeling sorry for myself for what's happened to me. So with that being said, we can begin our super advanced stability ball stretching routine. So it starts out kind of mild and then at some point it gets pretty spicy. So the first thing that we have is an intense puppy prayer stretch and we're using the ball to offer resistance to deepen the stretch. So you're going to put your palms together and prayer in your elbows on the ball and then press down and you should be feeling a good stretch in the back of your shoulders. A nice 
next thing that we have is a wide angle fold and we're going to have wrapped arms pressing against the ball. So you wrap your arms and lean forward. You should be feeling a stretch in your inner thigh and then in the back of the shoulders. Switch your arms when you're ready. So, the next thing that we have is a movement that I used to be able to do, but now I've uh, lost a bit of my elasticity and I'm trying to get it back so when I was a young dancer I could get on my belly like this and bring my feet to my head and my nose but now I cannot so I'm working on that and you can use the ball to support your other upper body because it does take upper body strength and core strength to hold yourself up in that position especially while stretching and you can grab your feet or even clasp them. So from this way, my tights make me slide for some reason more so that way. In this way. with the ball and I like this because it pushes against the leg which the pigeon stretches the hip naturally but this offers like a deeper stretch due to the resistance you get into your pigeon on the ball Next, we have a split variation with the ball. So one leg stays on the ball and the other extends. We have a inner thigh stretch. So you'll be draping one leg over the ball. And then you're going to take this other foot here and bring it up. 
for a heel stretch, and you can bound and revolve it if you like. Switch. last thing now we have is a kneeling back bend and this is going to stretch the hip flexors the chest and the upper back so this one's somewhat easy or at least in comparison of the other ones but I guess it depends where you're flexible at And that concludes our stability ball super danced stretching and flexibility routine. I hope you enjoyed it. Please check out more of my other videos on YouTube under Wellness by Elizabeth and like, subscribe, and share.